Simon of designcourse.com. Today we're doing the design challenge number 19, which is design in isometric building. Okay, so looking at the objective, it was very simple. Just design a single isometric building. It could be a skyscraper or any sort of commercial building. Uh, and there are very few requirements. The submission deadline uh, was about four days ago. And then I just linked to some inspiration. And the reason I did this uh, design an isometric building challenge is because I've been working on a course for one of the networks I do monthly courses for, which is tutsplus.com. And uh, that is doing pixel art. But I decided to also combine the world of isometrics and pixel art at the same time. So just to show you a preview project of that course, that is right here. And let me tell you, it is such a painstakingly slow process when you're dealing with with individual pixels. I mean, it is just, I mean, this is gonna be like a three hour course just to do this right here. Anyhow, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. I'm not going to really review these in the sense of like trying to be real technical. This is more for just fun, just to do something different. So I'm not gonna treat this as I would like say a, a logo design uh, competition or, or challenge. So we'll just start here with the first one. We have Mohammed. And this is this one was done with the 3D application, which is perfectly fine uh, with Cinema 4D. And yeah, looking at this, because you're using a 3D application, you're able to nail down, obviously, uh, automatically the highlights and the shadows and everything. And so I like the simple nature of this. This could definitely work. And you know, seeing it in conjunction with other buildings, it would be better, obviously, if they were different buildings. But again, the requirement was only to do one. So yeah, overall, I like this. I like the, the, the slight shading that you have here and there are highlights on the windows. Uh, overall, it's good. All right, so thanks for that submission. And when I came across this one, initially, like looking at from here and up, I kind of didn't like all the balloons. They just kind of seemed, I don't know, they, they didn't seem, I think there was way too many colors and brightness going on. But then looking down here, the actual house, I like that a lot. And there's a lot of detail here as seen here. Uh, and detail is great when it comes to isometric art. So uh, thanks for that submission. Coming down here, I... Uh, Building the DC or the Design Course Empire, as seen here in the DC logo, I <laughs> kind of funny. I uh, but uh, just looking at this, I don't know. The, the one thing I don't think I like about it is just the colors. Uh, the beige right here. I think maybe if it made more sense uh, to have maybe just gray, like a building or whatever. Uh, and all these tiny little windows almost look like window blinds. But that's just. Again, I'm not trying to be too uh, critical here. Uh, I do like the simple nature of, you know, everything here is pretty much simple as well as the trees and the clouds here. So I like it for what it is. Uh, so thanks for that submission. All right, uh, let's see here. So this one, I like this a lot. I like everything here. I like the, the bricks here. Uh, again, the finer detail really sticks out. I like the different shadows that are going on here. I'm not so sure though if I like the, uh, now I see this is your logo and you have it here. I think it's sticking out a little bit too far, but that's just me being anal about it uh, in, in, in the PG sense, obviously. All right, so and then we have the Vlad, Vlad. Is that how you say that? I've always wondered. Vlad, yeah, Vladimir. I'll shut up. And the re goddamn requirement was one building, not two. Don't you ever submit again? I'm no, just kidding. No, I I only wanted one building just because I didn't want this to take too long. But you know, extra points to you uh, for doing another building and spending the time to do it. So I like this. I uh, one thing that probably could have been improved. Just looking at it right now, uh, kind of for the first time, I like the uh, you know th the shadows that you have here. They fit real well, and it really just adds you know a sense of realism to it. Uh, but they're not added for the uh, the trees here. It seems like the, from the trees' perspective, the sun's coming up and it's just like, it's straight up above it and they're going down. But if they came off this way, it would have created for a little bit more consistency in terms of the lighting direction. But again, I like the buildings themselves and the focus of course was on the building. So uh, you did a good job, especially, you know, the, I think these fit pretty well too since you designed two of them and uh, they're consistent in their appearance. All right, so looking down here, hipster kid. I uh, look at this is a different aspect or, or a different perspective. Usual usually when you you consider isometric design, but it does work. Uh, the only possible issue here, which 
again, this is just me being, you know, just critiquing things too much. Uh, what the hell happened? Yeah, there we go. Is this area right here kind of doesn't follow the same path or the perspective? Uh, although that that may not necessarily be um, wrong in terms of perspective. It could just be the building design that way, essentially. Uh, but yeah, looking at it, again, let me reset this to 100% zoom. Uh, looking at this, yeah, this could definitely fit well with uh, depending on, you know, how the other buildings were designed and the setting that you have. Although it almost does look like it's tilted. Or is that just me? I'm going to copy this real quick. Just go in here. Take this. Zoom up. Start right here. Yep, that was just me. For some reason, it, it looks like this is everything is just tilted to like... I don't know. I'll just shut up. I'll quit while I'm ahead. All right. Uh, also, I do want to mention that I, uh, I've been. This is completely unrelated to the challenge, by the way. But I forgot to mention it initially. I've been. I uh, migrate. I've migrated to a new host, and it's been a really crappy, terrible process because I have so many different websites, and so many files and stuff. And with DesignCourse.com, there's a lot of settings, and the server environment's been wrong. So I've been a little bit slacking uh and or not slacking but i'm unable to record mentor uh projects but i'm gonna be getting to that very quickly so i just wanted to address that i uh, then we have Mertz, mertazi i uh, i like this a lot i uh, you know there's individual i uh, real fine detail like the tiny doorknob and stuff but then everything else is kind of big uh, like the books that stick out well i like the colors i like the shadows and all this this is probably yeah, Cinema 4D, a 3D application. But yeah, I really like this, and good job. Um, Alexa, all right, let's see. Tried to make a replica of the Signal Aduna Park. Homes, okay. Uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. I, I think one thing we've seen, if we take a look at the other entries, um, when it comes to shadows, it seems like it really just adds an extra element, and it's not hard to add shadows, usually. Uh, so it would have been cool just to see this with some shadows, but not necessary. I mean, you obviously added – took a lot of time with all the details, so that's awesome. Like all these tiny little windows right here and here. Uh, but yeah, adding shadows I think would have probably taken it up to a next level. But yeah, very good detailed building. Thanks for the submission. And this one right here, they didn't uh, link it correctly. Uh, they forgot to read the requirements, so – they wasted their time, as they said, with pyramids. <laughs> so that that's unfortunate. I uh, and and obviously there's not too much here for me to even critique, anyways, because there's not a lot of detail. But thanks for the entry, anyhow. And first entry. Hope it's not too bad. This is pitiful. I don't know why you bothered submitting this. No, I'm just kidding. But this is actually probably one of the best uh, entries that we have. So I really like it. Very unique architecture. You know, thinking outside of the box. Uh, the swimming pool. Obviously, this is done in a 3D application. Uh, other, I mean, if it was done in Photoshop by hand, that would be insane. But uh, yeah, if I had to guess, it's definitely a 3D application. Very unique, though. I like it a lot. Then this is uh, isometric, and all the detail is there. Thanks for taking the time to make this. And that was it. Not a lot of entries, just because you know this is more of a detailed and time-intensive project or, or challenge, rather. Uh, but yeah, then there's this one final announcement that I want to make uh, before concluding, and I announced this on the Facebook page. Probably not new, too many of you watching this are fans on the Facebook page, so you wouldn't know yet. But uh, I'm going to be working in collaboration with SlideNerd of uh, YouTube and SlideNerd.com. Um, basically, this guy has a very similar size channel. I, I think he has like 41,000 subscribers. I have 42,000 subscribers. He does all things Android, basically, and Java. Uh, and he has a ton of tutorials on creating Android apps and working with the different, uh, maybe Android Studio and all that. Uh, and I hit him up and I said, you know what would be really cool is to do a collaboration t tutorial series on creating an Android app. And I would take care of all the design, and he's going to take care of all of the coding. And so the first six or so videos are going to be uh, based on my channel, where I'm going to cover all the design from the app launcher icon to two or three different screens that are going to be present in the app. Uh, I think that's 
about it. Yeah, also about how to export them properly uh, for use in Android. And then I'm gonna forward on to his channel where he's going to show you how to make the app actually function, all right? So I paused real quick. I wanted to show you just a very small preview of what the app might actually potentially be. Um, we went and I designed this real quick for a promotion on Facebook just to let people know about it. Uh, but you can see down here, it's just going to be a, an app called, uh, I think we're going to call it Remind Lee because there's already an app called Reminder with an R. So I'm just going to change that. But the general premise is it's going to be very simple because I want you guys to be able to follow along on the coding process. So you obviously, you don't want to develop develop an, an app that's too intensive for a beginner. Uh, and likewise for his subscribers, I'm not, I didn't want to get way too into like an evolved or, or an involved de design. Uh, and I want to make it so that beginners could actually follow. So that's our, our goal so that you guys, you know, you, you subscribers, a design course can follow along, uh, with an app, uh, coding that's, you know, hopefully won't be too involved. Uh, then, and also for his, uh, followers and subscribers of course can also follow along in the design section so what's going to be usually what you find is uh, when you're looking for tutorials on apps you'll have a guy who's really good at maybe designing apps but you don't ever get to see him coded because he can't code them well uh, or on the opposite end you have a really good coder who's showing you how to make apps but the apps always look like crap so that's why we're doing the, the uh, collaboration so we're hopeful that it's uh, going to be successful it's going to be free, uh, and then in the future we may do, uh, depending on how it does, uh, we may do uh, some Udemy courses possibly. But yeah, this is going to be an app based on just setting a single alarm, and there's going to be a radial progress bar that goes around, uh, and it'll allow you to specify just a simple title of what you want to be alerted on. Uh, if you want to activate the phone alarm, uh, and yeah, so we're hopefully – this will be ready in a few weeks. Uh, so yeah, just wanted to put that out there. So be sure to check out his channel. It's youtube.com slash user slash slide nerd. And we will be doing a more formal announcement video as well. All right, so check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, goodbye.